When you want to show just the highest or the lowest values in different fields of a list, you can use a feature called top 10. Now, immediately we want to suggest that that's just, you might say, a marketing term. Top 10 could mean top 5, top 8, top 40, whatever. It could just as easily mean bottom 10, bottom 40, whatever. And the number 10 could be an actual number or it could be a percent. So it's a lot more flexible than the actual name itself. Let's click anywhere in this data and apply a filter. And maybe we want to see the top 10 salaries within the company, the records associated with those salaries. Click the drop arrow for salary, number filters, top 10. And here's where we see the variation coming in if we wish to choose it. Top could be bottom. Let's leave it at top for now. It could be 10 or any number we want. Maybe it's the top 15, change it. And do we simply want to see the top 15 records? Keep it at items. If we want to see the top 15%, we'll choose that. So you can quickly figure out how to make this work for you. We want to see the top 15 items, the 515 salaries and the records associated with them. There they are. Here too, if we want to sort these, that's fine. Click the drop arrow, descending order. There we go. Top 15% would probably be a lot more in this example. We've got about 700 records, so we'd be seeing about 100 of these if we did top 15%, top 10%, about 75 or so. So you can easily make these work for you. I do want to show you an idea, though, that's going to be a little bit confusing, though. Let's remove this filter, just this filter for here. Now, remember, if it's only a single column, you might remove the filter here by clearing it. We could just as easily have cleared the filter from the ribbon because we don't want filtering anywhere for the moment. So either way works. Now, let's imagine that we were focusing on just the people in one department. So I'm going to use a filter here on the department field, unselect them all, and just focus on manufacturing people. It is the biggest department here. Click OK. We've got 151 records. So you might be saying, well, I want to see the top 10 salaries in manufacturing. Click the drop arrow here. Number filters, top 10 items, okay. But we're only seeing three. So what is that telling us? Out of all the top 10 salaries in the entire list, only three of them are coming from manufacturing. And so if you really do want to see the top 10 within manufacturing, let's remove this last filter, the top 10 based on salary. Just clear the filter from there only. And then here's our list of all the manufacturing people. Let's simply sort that list in descending order, largest to smallest. Here are the top 10 salaries here as we look at the list. And you just have to see it that way. But don't confuse, as you can see how easily that could happen if you choose top 10 after already having a filter in place. It could be misleading. But there are some real advantages to the capability. And again, as long as you remember that the 10 can be any number you want, you can really make it work to your benefit.